This is George. Hello, we are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. This is George. My hi, George. And let's talk. Yeah. Hi. George. We're going to talk as girls, and then we're going to exactly talk to you. That's good. Awesome. So we're back with a. You know, I am really honored and and so over the toply excited to have this guest because. Phoebe Legere, you are uh, a living legend. Uh, you gotta watch that red. That's fine right now, but I know the internet. You got it's so sensitive here. I'll keep That's, a look on it. Yeah. All right. It's in a great place right now. Okay. So, um, Phoebe Legere, you are like a name of this town for, and you you look like you know there's no way you could be around that long because you're freaking drop dead gorgeous. Thank you, Lou. I love the way you look too, and I love your image. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. mutual, man. You're so smart and so kind. Wow! I know. It takes one to know one, I suppose. So tell me, when did you start? Like, you, not you, you know, like, where have you been? Where are you from? Where did you start? Oh, thanks for asking. I'm from Massachusetts, and I've been professional since age nine. Wow! So I was actually signed to Epic Records at 16. Wow! And I've been in this neighborhood basically since I ran away from home at 15. So I really, I grew up... Where in Massachusetts did you leave? Southboro, Mass, which is west of Boston, a little colonial town, but a place where rock and roll was taken very seriously. Huh. Is it anywhere near Somerville? It's, uh, Somerville's more of an urban place. I grew up in a very rural farming town. How close, because these are like... What are these? These are 57s. Are these the auto shrunken heads? Yeah, they are. House mice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this must have been all kinds of secondary yeah. sex uh, fluids. I would hope so. Upon I'm these. sure. I am like so. Don't lick them. No, but I am. I, are you germphobic? I am like the last of the germ. I am so not germphobic. No. You don't believe in the germ theory? I, you know, I don't know. Did you ever see, um, the, what's his name? George. What was that great comedian, the greatest one? George, 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 George. George, George. Oh, man. Carlin. Carlin, thank you. Thank uh, you so much. He, he had a thing about germs. Really? And yeah. He and it, no, he was like, germs? Forget <laughs> about it. I know. I was like, yay, a man after my own heart. I love George Carlin. Oh, you build up your resistance. Yeah, you do. Anyway, all right. So you left at 15. When you were signed at 13, you said? I was signed at 16 to Epic, so... so oh, so you were, so it was here. Oh, right here, yeah. And what did you do? I was uh, signed as a rock and roller. I had a new wave band called Monad. And we took Monad and new wave very seriously. We were really very excited about a kind of imaginary future. That's what New Wave was about. Who were your influences? Um, Devo. Oh, wow. Uh, very influenced by the Sex Pistols. Okay. Deeply influenced by the Sex Pistols. Okay. Later, I became friends with Johnny Rotten. Oh, I always, always, he's my friend on Facebook. I love him he's so much. very intelligent, very I articulate. Know. Going, uh, this is not a love song. Was like my, I have it in like 20 versions. I love that. I know. I know. Do you, are so, you in touch with him still? I am. Is he's, yeah, he's in L.A.? He is, but you know, he's, he tours a lot. Yeah. He's a businessman. Yeah, well, he went over to the other side. I know, <laughs> I love him. I know. I, wow, that's so awesome. I'm going to post this on his wall. Oh, I, will. I will, I will. I have a picture in my house with his signature on it. We found it in the rubbish. It's like a framed really? photograph with his signature. Can you believe it? Money. See, God loves me. I'm He's telling you, God office. saves the queen. <laughs> You're I have it. You're fantastic. Oh, you are too. So what are you doing today? Like, what's going on in the world of Phoebe Legere? Uh, well, first of all, I want to finish with some yeah, of my influences. Right. Oh, good, good. Because uh, I was very influenced by people like the Dead Boys. Okay. And uh, the dolls were before my time, but... After the dolls finished, Johnny Thunders was around. Right. Um, Klaus Nomi okay. was around when I was 15, 16 in New York as a runaway, living on the Lower East Side and seeing Who'd you people. live with? I lived in a squat. Wow. Yes. And uh, these people gave me a sense that rock and roll was the most important thing in the world and that rock and roll was the highest, finest poetry. So... When Jim Carroll, I don't know if you know who that was, uh, Jim, I saw him at the bottom line. The late great Jim Carroll brought his manager to see me, and I was signed by Earl McGrath, who had been the president of Rolling Stones Records. Wow! 
So I thought, uh, there I am. I'm, I'm, I, this was like frankly transcendental for mm -hmm. me to be with people like this. And we thought that anything was possible. When you get on stage with a band, it was as if we crossed the border between life and death. We were in some other, we were out of the time space continuum, right. we were out of the time stream, and we're just in that beautiful place where everybody's a friend and everyone's going to live forever. And unfortunately, not everyone did. Why I survived, I don't know. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I say, why am I still here? But there I must be a it. reason. I get it. I know. <laughs> I, I, I totally get it. Wow. So the reason is, what are you doing today? Okay. Uh, I've been through, I've done 11 CDs. Wow. And after I was on Epic, I had eight different indie record contracts. Wow. You were like people's dream. Uh, I've been very, very lucky. The what music has been good to me. Can you guess? Uh, I'm going to try. Uh, maybe Aaliyah? No, my mother is Aaliyah, and so, my, so mother, my mother my mother, and my older sister were born on the same day, which is oh, Madonna's wow. birthday. My mother's Madonna's birthday! Oh, on the 16th! 16th. My 16th. sister's 19th. I it was the 17th. 17th, I think. Um, no, it's the 16th. Oh, oh how uh, funny! That's crazy! It's August 16th. I mean, you can Google it anybody. Yeah. That's crazy, but they're a day okay. apart. So I may have Leo qualities, but I'm not a Leo. Go ahead. <gasps> well, I, I, I don't know if you're a Gemini. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a hint. Okay, give me one. Virgo. No. Oops. Her boobs. <laughs> no, uh, uh -huh. not Virgo. Okay. Sexy. She's sexy. Is so she Aquarius, Aries? No. She's sexy, so she's got to be, and she's got that little feminine thing, so she's a feminine sign. Libra. No, but I love. God, her. let's go down the whole album. Oh, baby. Here. Some of my favorite songs. Uh, no, no, but I adore Pisces. Uh, she she looks like my guitar player. You'll be the last of the twelve. My guitar player, Sir George Leonard, wrote a song called Pisces. We should really do that. Can song. Syria? Yes. July fourth, his birthday. Oh, yeah. the world celebrates your birthday. Well, remember when I said she was feminine? Yeah. Cancer is the ultimate of the feminine. Yes. That's why I was sticking my breasts out because we are the mothers of the zodiac. Yes. And what true. are you? Uh, I'm a Gemini. Oh, I love what a beautiful. Well, song. Maybe, she, Cancer and Gemini get along. We do. We well, do. My you guys have the emotion and we like to express. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I know. So, so what, what? What are you doing today? Like, do you have shows well, coming up? Yes, I do. I have, a, I have a show That's coming. Nice. Up. Is this day? Oh, that is nice. That's oh, nice. That is a lie. I know. We got, I'll oh, fix all that during the break. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We're playing at the Iridium Jazz Club, which is in the middle of Times Square. It's 51st and Broadway. It is a club made famous because Les Paul, wow. the inventor of the Fender guitar, yeah. the inventor of reverb, but he's just an incredible genius, played there every Monday night for about 20 years. Uh, Iridium is also the home of the greatest international jazz stars. So we're very honored to have a regular gig there wow. on the third Tuesday of every month. That's awesome. And we get great sound support there from Rich, who was the tenor in the Five Satins, in fact, still singing with the Satins, so he has a great ear for acoustic detail. And as you know, we love the sound here at Autos. Yeah. It's so awesome. I it's love such a Otto. great rock and roll joint. Yeah. But the sound of Iridium is really the kind of world-class sound that you get in a fine concert hall. Nice. They also have a hundred thousand dollars Do you know Michelle? Steinway. I can't say. Do you know Michelle? Michelle from Michelle and Gregor. They were in The Invaders. Oh, yes, she's a lovely girl. What is she doing? Oh, my God, you are like a twin of her. Uh, Michelle and I. look very much alike. She's much prettier. Oh, please stop that. You are and so you're great similar. similar. And I'll never forget seeing the invaders. Yeah, she played with and me for a long time. She's a good friend of mine. And she would smile. You sound like her. You you were like. Well, we have the same thing. We got the same kind of body with the long legs. Yeah. And, and the one and, and the, the voice. voice. And we just, you know, Classic. we just. And I lived, we lived a few blocks away. I think they're on 8th Street. They are. Gregor and Michelle. I haven't seen her. She's been, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. She's been. I know she took care of his mother. Her mother. And his mother. Oh, she, and, yeah, and they she was a Woodstock. sweetheart. She's the best. And that was the kind of rock and roll person who, sadly, I don't know, the rock, let me put it another way. Let me put it, frame it positively. The rock and roll industry in New York tended to favor people who were cutthroat, greedy, and selfish and egotistical. 
and she had a beautiful heart. heart. Yeah, absolutely. A beautiful girl, a fine player, yeah. loyal. Yeah. Should have been a huge star. Yeah. And maybe still will be. Yeah, you never know. Because everything's wide open. I agree. And we're going to take a short break, and then we're going to hear you play and, and do a whole lot more on this January 12th, back in New York City, right. Rue and Pooh. Woo! Yeah. No future, no future, no future. Rooster. 